What's up guys? Welcome back, Escadrin52 and today I'm showing you my favourite playing cards from 2018. Now it is worth mentioning that the list I've compiled today is from cards that I have owned and used throughout the year. Um, so without further ado, well, let's get into it. In fifth place is the Knock Originals in yellow. Printed by the USPCC, the simplicity and elegance come together in these Knock Original series with six striking colorways. The yellow stand out the most for me as they are my favorite colored playing cards in existence. These come with a blank card, identical jokers, and a duplicate queen of hearts. The bold color and minimalist look is perfect for performance and doesn't deter away from the magic. These are quick to break in and they feel amazing when you spring or anaconda. Fourth place is the Planet Series Venus Edition by Vanda Playing Cards. These playing cards started off with the planets closest to the sun and in a Kickstarter campaign that lasted throughout the whole entire year, moved out into the surrounding universe. Created by David Goldklang and designed by Shodan Bidakovic as part of the Vanda Playing Cards Designer Series, these cards have been printed on USPCC bicycle stock with an embossed finish. The tuck cases were printed by Close Scent Press, which uh, specialise in letterpress printing. There's two types of foil embossing on the box, one in the magenta ink and one in the white ink. As well as on the outside of the tuck case, the inside features a silvery white embossing, which is the stars and the Venus planet in the centre of the tuck case. Inside of each of the planet series, there is a star map with the respective planet on it, two custom jokers, Aces, which are not customised, and a two-way back design that just gives this retro space vibe all over the deck. The side features a segment from one overarching planet that spans from Mercury to the end of the universe. And I just love the way that this box, as you collect all of them, builds up that planet. The cars themselves spring amazingly, they fan really well, and they're really good in terms of magic, which you'll see at the beginning of this video I used as part of the B-roll. Um, as someone who is absolutely in love with space and fascinated by space, these were definitely in my top three for the cards that I needed to collect this year. I know it's another knock, but the third on the list is Super Knock First Edition. Printed by the USPCC, the Supernock takes inspiration from classic comic book culture and is a direct homage to the true blue Kryptonian Superman. Knock has gone all out in the details with an issue number, price and a date of issue. There are two jokers in the deck, non-identical, same image just different colour, a standard ace that happens to be in all of the uh, Knock series with the House of Playing Cards logo, a blank card and an X-ray vision double backer. I love the simplicity of the Knock and the feel of these cards you have in your hands. Uh, the court cards have been altered as well to match the colours of Superman. And I just think that's a nice touch. I just like that they've, they've really thought about everything within the deck and how it all comes together. Second on the list is The Helios Sun by Kevin Yu and the Boko Bo Playing Card Company. This has been my favourite fulfilled Kickstarter campaign of 2018. The engineering in the card process, just alone in the box, is paramount to none. And if you saw my previous post, my previous video, you'll know all about the deets like the printing and paper use. So what I'm gonna talk about is the most eye-catching feature of this deck, and that is the fanning tuck case. In terms of innovation, only a few cards or a few decks are actually changing the game with their tuck designs. And the Helios Sun, Lunar Moon, Esther Star is one of them. Featuring non-identical jokers, fully customized court cards with no discernible feature, customized aces, these cards are just perfect. These have been designed with the most intricate detail going. I believe from the ad card that they're designed by Stone. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but um, he has designed the entire series and is designing the new um, Boko Bo Playing Card Company's Oriental, Oriental Memory. The stock is a little rigid to start with, but as it's broken in, it feels so dope to just spring and, and just watch that nebula just to get displayed in front of you. Number one on the list is the Dan and Dave Art of Play and DKNG collaboration of the Green Wheels Playing Cards. Now, as you can see on the box here, these are very worn and jagged. So as you can see, there's teeth marks from my kid, there is dog earring going on on the tuck, and the cards themselves, some are a couple of bent, crimped, uh, you know, they're quite dirty from wear and tear. These have been my favorite playing cards of the year. Create in collaboration with a California-based creative studio, DKNG. This is a fresh interpretation on the classic bicycle rider back design. The box is made from recycled paper, it's letter pressed, and printed in tonal brown with a green stamp on the back, which I would show you, but mine has worn away so much from that times I've used it. Inside there's 54 custom playing cards, which include a wild card, all courts customized with green and bronze half-half coloring. I think there's a there's an ink on that bronze as well. So it's like a foil ink or a metallic ink. Um, the aces are all customized. 
including the Ace of Spades and an almost identical Jokers, which have two very slightly differing colours on them, and that is it. These are the first expert playing cards that I ever bought, and I've been using them since April when they first came out. It's now December, so that's about eight months worth of use, and they have still held up well despite being a little bit tacky around the edges. Okay, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Um, in the description box will be my Instagram, make sure you head over there, give me a little follow. Um, and just thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comment section below what your top five favourite decks were of 2018. It doesn't have to be decks that you've owned, but just the decks that have been released. Maybe there's a Kickstarter campaign that you couldn't cop, but you thought that they were the best looking cards on the market. Yeah, so make sure you smash like. Look forward to the next video. I don't know if I'll get it done by the end of 2019. So this may be my last video of 2018 um, and what a year it has been. So I want to say thank you to anyone who's watched any of my videos. Thank you to anyone on my Instagram uh, that has liked anything or commented on anything I've done or even shared some of the work I've done because, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for everything you guys do. Uh, and hopefully we can turn this into a sort of a, a full-time career.